I'm Courtney McCarthy. I'm the lead school psychologist for our district student threat assessment system. So our safety and support response systems are systems that are designed to prevent serious safety concerns in our schools and in our community. So we have four safety and support response systems. One of those is our suicide prevention system which is a system designed to prevent suicide um, by assessing concerns for suicide and then getting supports in place for students that need them. We have our student threat assessment system, which is designed to prevent acts of aggression or violence in our schools and community. Um, so again, we assess concerns for aggression and violence, get safety measures in place, and then supportive services to students that need them. Our third is our a sexual incident response committee, which is designed to prevent problematic sexual behavior, um, again, in our schools and communities. Our fourth system is our fire behavior system, which is designed to prevent problematic fire setting, again, in our schools and communities. We partner with community agencies to help us assess concerns when they reach a significant level. So we interact with agencies such as community mental health, law enforcement, juvenile justice, our local community colleges that have high school partnerships, um, agencies like Liberty House to help us provide supportive services to students in the community. In order to prevent these kinds of serious safety concerns from happening, we rely on people in the community, people in our schools to make reports when they have concerns. It's very helpful for people to report those concerns to school staff, particularly to school administrators. Um, you can also report to law enforcement. And if people need a more anonymous way to report concerns, Safe Oregon is a great way to report um, concerns about safety issues.